So I just want to ask you about uh, Florida A&M. Obviously, we, we talked a lot about you in Tallahassee back uh, two years ago with Florida State. But just want to ask right. you what memories you have of, of A&M, going to games or anything like that growing up. Um, you know, just a, uh, an environment that's that's fun. Um, you know, going, I used to go to the games a lot, and um, you know they have some pretty good athletes on our team. BJ, I know you've gotten a lot of praise uh, through the first two weeks from the coaching staff with your play. What maybe is some of the constructive criticism that they're offering you on, on areas of improvement that they'd like to see? Uh, to be perfect. I mean, that's that's the goal, to start to be perfect. You know, as a quarterback in the position I'm in, you know, you have to be perfect. You know, no one really is, but you know, that's the goal. Um, you know, just tighten up on little things, you know, still mechanic, mechanical-wise. Um, you know, some throws here and there that, you know, I got lazy on that I missed. So uh, just different things like that. And just continue to get better as well. You're going to face a FAMU defense that blitzes like 75 percent of the time. How do you see that as an opportunity for you guys to take advantage of that? I mean, just to continue to do what we're doing. Um, you know, make sure we're polished up on uh, you know different things that they might try to throw at us. And you know, that's the same same game plan that we we, we go into the same, every week with a different game plan. Um, you know, but the same thing is is, just, is worry about us. Just do what we're supposed to do and what we have to do. BJ, Coach Fitch talked about how it's not any one thing that's that's limited you guys in the red zone. What do you think you guys can do better to come away with seven instead of three more often? Um, just put the ball in the end zone. Just plain and simple. That's that's the biggest thing. BJ, with all the success you've had, just talk about the need to stay humble, uh, mm -hmm. knowing that that there's still areas for improvement. All right. Well, I definitely have been around long enough to experience the highs and the lows. So. You know, I've been through it before, and you know, I, like I say every week, I have to try to get better. Coach is talking about having the the subs in there potentially in the first half, and obviously last week you guys kind of were living in the second half. Is there? Do you get a sense of urgency, wanting to make the most of the series you have, knowing that you, you might not get a full game out there? Not necessarily. Um, just continue to move the ball, move the chains, just do my job. You know, that's the most important thing that you know I need to be concerned with.